Come on, boy. Hey, Wolfie, come on. Come on, Wolfie, Wolfie. Come on, 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 come on. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today I'm playing the Sierra Classic Gabriel Knight 2 The Beast Within. I think I saw a website there in the, the opening screen for just a second. I wonder if that website is still up and running. It's always funny when they hard code things like that into a game, and then years later, um, I think in the NES Who Framed Roger Rabbit game, there is a phone number you're supposed to call, a 1-800 number. And if you call today, it is not a tip line that is part of the game, breaking the fourth wall. It is, I believe, a sex line. I think the Angry Video Game Nerd covered that pretty well. Okay, here we are, The Beast Within, a Gabriel Knight mystery. I had heard of this game and these Gabriel Knight games when I was a kid. I always thought it was like a knight as in like an actual knight in shining armor, and a Gabriel Knight is some specific kind of knight. I guess Gabriel Knight is a person. So it's just a dude named Gabriel Knight. This is his second game. Uh, a little thing that's kind of annoying is this is all known as Gabriel Knight 2, The Beast Within, and also known as The Beast Within, colon, A Gabriel Knight Mystery, and is the second Gabriel Knight. I hate when games have really confusing things like that. Just call it Gabriel Knight 2, man. Make it simple. Okay. Forget about the prologue. I can sort of make something up for us. Let's hop right in and play. This is a Sierra adventure game, so there's going to be a lot of pointing and clicking and Jay referring to online tutorials. But, oh, what do we have here? Full motion freaking video in a video game? We're living in the future, guys. Schloss Ritter, Rittersburg, Germany. I don't know why I have a British accent, but it feels right. Look how grainy it is. <laughs> it's interesting to imagine, like, back in the day, people were, like, you know, blown away by this. It's like, Diane, get in the room! We have video in this video game! Hurry up, quick! It's blowing my mind! Look at it! It's like we're actually there! We'll be telling our grandkids about this. Nobody's gonna believe it. Chapter one, colon, opening movie. Click mouse to skip. Whoa, and there's a person. I wonder if there's like a director and a producer, cameraman, there must have been. Wow, look at them. Sinister stuff is happening in the world of Gabriel Knight, guys. Oh, it looks so bad. <laughs> it looks so bad, so grainy. My God. You know, everything starts somewhere. Things like YouTube and stuff, you know, watching videos on computers seems so commonplace now. But back in the day, you know, it, it wasn't always that way. Putting Gabriel Knight, oh, what, what is he? The Voodoo Murders. Very, in this is totally 90s-esque, because it's so like culturally insensitive. <laughs> you can just so t totally tell. I guess this is Gabriel Knight. He's hanging out in Germany writing a sweet old novel on his ancient typewriter. Even George R. R. Martin uses a DOS computer to write his his books. Like, who actually uses a typewriter? Oh, falls. What? Jesus, dude. See, if you used a computer, you could have gone back and edited that word very easily. Now you have to rewrite the whole page. The audio is jumping a little. There are some people here to see you. Me? Yeah, if you please come. What's going on? You've been acting strange all day. Please just come. And don't forget your talisman. You must wear it always. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are in for a, a weird, weird treat with this game. Damn thing's heavy. Wonder what all those village people coming. I mean, it's, it's probably sinister. They're probably here to kidnap me or something, or attack me. Yeah, these people look well, hello there. very friendly. This is a conscious. normal thing for a village to do, come visit you en masse. I am okay, we're going to go ahead and skip this, because we are not here to watch a video game. We are here to play a game. Now, Gabriel Knight here, The Beast Within, is one of the first games to feature full motion video gameplay. And 
you know, for its time, again, you got to put this in historical context. This is kind of kind of neat for its time. Totally was a selling point, you know. I mean, part of the selling point of things like Mortal Kombat or Narc is that the graphics look so realistic. But look, it's an actual dude. Oh, man, they butchered his nose in this. Okay, but apparently we can, like, go and click on stuff, and he'll actually walk over. Whoa. It's like I'm there. <laughs> so, I don't know. Do we take the wallets? Or... I guess just everything. Could I have clicked anywhere and you would have just grabbed everything, buddy? I find with full motion video games, because they're far more limited in what they can show the character doing, they don't tend to necessarily be as complicated in terms of actual gameplay. Okay. Uh, can we, like, walk over here? There we go. Uh, there's, like, a letter or something I'm supposed to read. Um, as I say, I'm totally using a tutorial for this because anyone who has played these old Sierra Adventure games knows that they are very hard. Hey, I know that guy. He was in uh, oh, that old Leslie Nielsen movie, The Naked Gun. Killer Wolf aus dem Zoo, immer nach auf Freimfub. If you speak German, maybe you know what this means. I assume it means like Killer Wolf escapes the zoo or something. I can't read much of it, but they give the name of the zoo. It's in Thalkirken. The name of the detective on the case is Lieber, from the police station near Prinzer Jentenplatz. Wow. His German is as bad as mine. Okay, oh, no. Much of it. Okay, put it down. Exit. <laughs> Exit the newspaper. He's like, hmm, well, that was the only interesting story. I'll put it right back exactly where I found it before, and then walk back across the room, stare at the table, and I will walk back over. I don't have anything to write oh, about okay. at the moment. What's this? Here, night. The keys to the car are by the door. It is better... I, I turn British again. My accents are really horrible, by the way. I'm not good at doing accents. It is better not to uh, drive inside Munich, drive Road 96 to Lockham, park the car, and take the U-Bahn from there. Thank you for helping us. Fair night. The keys to the car I just are by said the door. that, Gabriel. Don't worry about it, buddy. I got your back. <laughs> I always kind of get the sense that the adventure game characters are not the smartest Who should I call? bunches, you know, in, in the batch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, walk over here now. Uh, I guess I was supposed to get some keys. Like, how would you know those are keys? Part of adventure games is just kind of pointing and clicking on everything. There's the element of discovery. Uh... Let's see, inventory. How do I get to my inventory? Ah, here we go. Uh, let's check this thing out. No, 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 where are you going? No, wait, no, come back. No, don't leave the house, you idiot. Ah, oh, great. Okay, go back into the house, and he can, we'll get to watch a nice video of him taking his coat off. Okay, hold on. How do I look at this thing? Okay, I think I figured it out. I want the letter. Read the letter. Okay, it's a letter to me. Dear Mr. Knight, the title of Schlob Ritter and Lance have been officially registered. Thanks for your funds, your inheritance tax, blah, blah, blah. It's from the Ritter family lawyers. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks for keeping up here. Yeah, okay, we're supposed to read another letter to this one. Inspect. Nope. Got the same old letter. Okay, hold on. Now, here we go. Uh, this looks like it's from the person I want to read. All right, let's have this guy or this woman Gabriel, read it. I've just notified the Catholic Church about a miracle. Things have actually been picking up around the shop. We've been going through stock like, well, like a real store. I keep expecting the candid camera guys to pop out at any moment and say, just kidding. In other acts of universal randomness, the voodoo murders is up to number 20 on the New York Times bestseller list. Yes, the taste of the American public can be a terrifying thing. In any case, your U.S. bank account is blossoming. Not unlike the desert after a fluke storm. Gabriel, okay. I've already read that page. 
If you don't mind, I'd like to use a little of the money to fix up the shop. Your gran is fine, but misses you. Mosley has been hanging around, making himself a real pain in the butt. Fortunately, I need only bring up the bald detective mostly in your book, all 240 pounds of him, and your pal turns red and is out the door in about five seconds. Things are organized here. Just waiting for your decision. I think you can find a buyer if you want to go that route. I know you hate to write, but I need to get a feeling for what your plans are. Okay, so I can moving on. Some of my own. We are. Th this is a riveting tale of reading letters, checking your mail, and getting car keys in the German Alps. Now he has someone to write a letter to. He's going to write a letter to Grace. Better let Gracie know I'm on a new case. Dear Grace, I need a haircut. My name is Gabriel. I can't speak German, but I'm in Germany. Like, it's funny that that they, like, filmed this. Like, click mouse to skip scene. In modern games, would they even bother showing you this guy, like, writing a letter and, like, folding an envelope? It's like the idea of full motion video was, like, so novel that they could have him doing anything. <laughs> like, okay, we're going to have this one scene. He's going to write a letter, seal an envelope, address the letter. We'll show him licking and putting a stamp on the envelope. <laughs> like, it, it's, just, it's just so funny. Like, like... I don't know. It really does make the game feel dated. It's like they were so thrilled about the full motion video thing that they had to show every mundane thing. Okay. Uh, now we have to go watch him walk this way. He only ever takes like a step. He never really goes that far. Okay. Now... These woods go back a ways. Plenty of space to hide. Yep, that's true of all woods, my friend. Aha! Did I find a trail of some kind? I want some kind of detective case and I have no idea what it is. Oh my. It's blood. It's wolf hair. In case you can't tell, this game is something about, has something to do with werewolves. Um, so when I was reading about this, it was saying how this is like, you know, a, 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 was an amazing game when it came out. You know, full motion video was supposed to be the future of gaming for about five minutes. Then people kind of realized you don't need full motion gaming to have a good game. I mean, this so far feels like a really like a daytime soap opera. It's it's this weird feeling to me. Okay, now we're supposed to go over and check this thing out. Like, okay, if you were looking at this, you would have no idea what you could or could not interact with. This is the problem with these Sierra games, is it's like so ambiguous as to what you're supposed to do. One thing I've already mentioned when I've played other adventure games is that a problem I find with Sierra games, oh my god, a wolf paw! Werewolf, anyone? Could be those wolves that escape from the zoo. Is that with Sierra games, they allow you to keep going and progress without necessarily yes. getting the things that you're going to need later in the game. So... Like, I'm getting scores here as I discover things. I don't know where this game is ultimately going to go, but I do know that it's possible, like, if we miss something in the house when we leave, a Sierra game would totally let you hit a part of the game where you couldn't pass it anymore because you didn't have that thing. So, that's one of my complaints of Sierra games. I guess as far as werewolf tales go in Europe, this is whatever. An interesting game. <laughs> I mean... We're, we're living in, like, the blandest-looking house. With, like, this is our car. It is, like... I was hoping for a Mercedes. Yeah, this, this will have, have to do. do. Wait. Uh, let's go this way first. Before we before we bail out of this area. Oh, what's, what's going on in here? Walk in there, Gabriel. It's a sink. Wash your hands and let us revel in the, the full-motion video of sink watching. Zement. I could be wrong, but I think this bag contains yep. cement. <laughs> now, quick. I th at this point, I'm just kind of clicking on things, just to see if I can figure out what to do next. I don't fully know. Right. Oh, he's mixing cement, riveting stuff, fellas.
they like really showed like every little nuance of him doing this stuff okay then he walks away guess what we're gonna go and get a cast of the paw print believe me it's gonna pay off big time for our werewolf paw print collection They're like in this scene, you have to walk on, on, uh, oh god, I can't even make fun of it properly. You have to walk on set holding a, a bucket of cement, and then you're going to pour it onto a paw print. My god. So my own personal favorite Sierra games were games like Leisure Suit Larry, Police Quest, King's Quest, Space Quest, all the quests. I totally see why Gabriel Knight was not necessarily one of my favorite games. It just seems so, like, slow. Like, the full motion video. I'm not even doing anything right now. But, like, the full... Oh, I just... You could have used that, buddy. The full motion video, like, is an interesting gimmick, but it definitely does not hold up over time. I wonder if you could make a full motion video game these days. It would actually be interesting. But, like, Leisure Suit Larry was an awesome game. You were some loser, and you were out at night, and you had to, like, figure out how to get girls and stuff. Police Quest was awesome. You were a cop. King's Quest. I've always kind of felt like I wish someone would remake games like Leisure Suit Larry and Police Quest and King's Quest and stuff, but make them less linear and less, like, there's only one way to solve a puzzle. One thing I really, really, really liked about game, a game like Deus Ex is they would give you a mission... And there'd be multiple ways to solve that puzzle. You could, you have to sneak into a building. You could go in guns a-blazing. You could go in, um, you know, sneaking through the air ducts. You could hack the computer system. You could talk your way in. There's all sorts of things you could do. I wish someone would take the concept of Leisure Suit Larry or Police Quest or Space Quest or King's Quest and make like an adventure game that really was like a little more flexible, so it wasn't totally linear, where there are multiple ways to solve problems, um, and where it, it just sort of... Because what, what made those games really cool is they reminded me of <laughs> holodeck novels from Star Trek. So in, in Star Trek, the characters would go on the holodeck and play through novels themselves, and they would have to solve problems and stuff. I love that problem solving, but I hate when it's super linear. And like, if you miss a paperclip in the original house, there's nothing you can do to like turn off the generator at the end of the day you know so this will happen um yeah if if any like indie game developers out there <laughs> happen to be in, in one of my fans think about that i i 100 would support you on kickstarter play a game like that an adventure game that was modernized even if it includes full motion video but i think we've realized that games do not have to include full motion video to be good in fact, if you include full motion video, your game may become dated 10 or 20 years from when you made it. Like, what does full motion video actually add to this game? Whoa, what, what? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I have to, like, pick where to go out of this? Alright, let's try this place. Good enough as any. It is kind of interesting, actually, to have a, a map like this. Wait. Did I... Oh, that's that's where I am. Seriously? <sighs> you know, this game was heralded as, like, a terrific game that blended adventure and storytelling. Best full motion video game ever when it came out. Had meaningful growth of characters. Interesting how uh, hindsight makes fools of us all. Hey guys, crap! Like, give me a hint. The blinking destinations have tasks left to complete in the chapter. Oh, okay. What? They all are blinking. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get past the first chapter. All right, let's just go to Tal Talkerchin. Why not? We are at a zoo. Where the zookeepers wheel food around in carts made from the 1860s, apparently. Good craftsmanship back then. Can't really beat it. Did he pour food into his pants? What is happening? Just gonna saunter into a monkey pit 
Those chimps are going to eat him alive, man. Or something is, anyway. Here, my my pants food. Oh, he has a little belt. That looks like a Saul from Better Call Saul. A young Saul Goodman works at a German zoo. Feeding a wolf. That's not dangerous at all. <laughs> Why don't you walk in the wolf pen? Full... Your pants full of food, and just throw food at a, a weird-looking wolf. There wasn't even a gate or anything. I guess the wolf is on the honor system. Did he just eat some of the food? Dude, that's wolf food. That's not for humans. Probably tastes terrible. My god. Okay, that little cutscene set the scene for us. Okay, now we're going to look at the board. And we're going to read it to view the European wolf. Canis lupus lupus, European wolf. That was all we had to do. It was part of the walkthrough, earned us a couple of points. Now we're going to look over the fence and actually see the wolves. A lot of this game is just like walking around, doing stuff. There isn't really like any puzzle to solve or anything. We're just kind of like, eh, look, wolves. I've unlocked a cutscene. How many points is this worth? Hey, wolf. Come on, boy. Okay, why does he want the wolf? And A, that is the stupidest way to try and get a wolf. Wow. Okay. Now we're supposed to talk to Thomas. So let's go find this. Oh, here he is. Hey, Saul. Buddy, can I have some of your pants food? I, I'm not allowed to interact. I'm just literally standing like a statue staring directly at you. This is the creepiest thing ever. Sorry about this dude. Now I will talk to you. I seem to walk away from you, but then towards you. Excuse me, can you speak English? Yes. Great. Might have asked you some questions? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mind if I ask you some questions? Okay. Mmm. With like a creepy smile. Oh man, imagine this conversation was happening in real time and he's just like, he said he wanted to ask me stuff, but now he's just kind of staring at me. What what's happening? Have you worked here long? Uh, Thomas. Almost one whole year. A year? A year at a zoo? I noticed you were pretty calm walking in that kennel. Guess wild animals don't bother you, huh? The wolves. They are lazy during the day. That is like the creepiest smile ever. I think he's hitting on this zoo employee. So you carry a walkie-talkie? The zoo is big. Who normally gives you your instructions over that thing? Kitchen, sometimes the health unit. For something really important, a Dr. Klingman himself will call me. Dr. Klingman? Dr. Klingman, hmm, yeah, yeah, interesting. Doctor, with a K, you know it's German. Klingman, sounds like Klingon. Who's this Dr. Klingman you mentioned? Yeah, Dr. Klingman is in charge of the mammal division. So I should speak to him about seeing the wolves up close. You can try, but he won't let you. Perhaps. Where could I find him? In the administration area. Do random zoo patrons frequently visit the doctor of the zoo to ask to see the wolves? These wolves are fascinating, aren't they? I tried calling one over, but they weren't too obliging. Yeah, some people try that all day. <laughs> <laughs> <Is there any> chance <laughs> Who shows up to a zoo and stands at the fence all day trying to lure wolves over to see them? No way. No one will enter what? the kennel without Idiots. authorization. This, okay, guys. It's hilarious how bad the writing and the acting is in this. I suppose you were around when those like, wolves escaped. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> No, I don't work at night. But you must have been here the next day, right? That people were pretty upset, what, with the police and everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that day was super crazy. Can you tell me about it? Tell you what? Uh, let me just stare at you awkwardly. Uh... Alright, let's just, uh... Skip through some of this. Because this is not really going anywhere, I feel. Hey, thank you for your time. Whatever. 
Thank you for your time. The natural German response is pfft, whatever. All right, let's bail on this stupid zoo. We got other places to be. Give me a hint. Oh man. Okay, let's just check out some of these other destinations. I really feel like, realistically, I thought maybe I'd get a chapter or two into this game, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, hello. Yeah. Can I Ihnen behilflich sein? Guten Tag. Do you speak English? Nein, ich spreche kein Englisch. Was möchten Sie bitte? Great. Uh, Lieber. Criminal Commissar Lieber. Is he here? Commissar Lieber? Wer möchte mit ihm sprechen? This is like. just a, a failure at all parts. Ben? Sie sind. Sie. Me! Oh! Yeah. Oh. Wow. If you're gonna go to Germany, learn the language, man. Like, seriously. Ryder. No. Or have like a, a German to English dictionary, something. Yeah. Huh. We successfully made it past a front desk guy who doesn't speak English. That's actually not too bad. It's interesting how when this game came out, it was heralded so highly and regarded so well. And what is with the music in the background? Okay. All right. Let, let's skip this. We're not. We're not getting anywhere with that guy. He's not going to buy us dinner anytime soon. Let's check out Marian Blatz. You know, if you speak German, you can probably you probably know what's going on in this game better than I do. But yeah, it's interesting how full motion video and, and story games they're often regarded so highly one thing i've always always thought is like you know how everyone says the oscars love historical dramas so if you look at the movies that win the oscars they're not necessarily the best movies they're just like i don't know there's like oscar bait movies movies that are about histo history histor epic history stories and love and realism the oscars love that crap so something like Inception, which is arguably was one of the greatest movies of the year when it came out, didn't have a chance to win the Oscars because it's just not the right style. I kind of feel that way with video games, where like people will herald games that have uh, a lot of realism or very, very complicated stories as being the quote unquote best game out there. And, um, you know, the truth is that like, there's a lot of, like, what defines a game? Hey, there's another guy. Oh, my God. They actually paid someone else to ha to be captured for this game. You'll be walking civilian number one. Oh, my God. We have a full walking animation. This is, like, the most continuous animation for Gabriel that we've seen so far. And he's just, he's not stopping. I told him to walk right, and he's like, oh, I'll walk right. You want to see walking right? It's going to keep on going. Well, we'll get a nice tour of the, the city as we go here. But... Yeah, like games that win Game of the Year are things like, you know, Mass Effect or, I don't know. I, I don't even know actually which games have won Game of the Year recently, but things like, you know, Fallout and stuff. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. Okay, just... They're busy. I'd okay, we'll just go over here. Um, but, you know, like, okay, a game like Mario Maker or like Hearthstone, they're like simple games with like simple gameplay mechanics. But here's a, here's a question for you guys to think about. You know, if you think about how many hours you spend playing games like that versus how many hours you spend playing like an epic story game, certainly the epic story game has its place and it's interesting and so on. But does it always win game of the year? Because a game is something you can play that's fun. And so my argument is that there's been a huge emphasis Dynstrop on like games that have story and video and stuff. But in reality, I would personally argue that like i think game of the year has to be more diverse than that you can't just always pick games that have really complicated I'd give it learn a the shot, language any way to get you can't always pick games that have really complicated stories and think of them as the best games because then it means that to be the best game you have to be a certain type of game and i think there's tons of types of games you know like some of my favorite games out there aren't these big epic story games some of them are is there anything to do here there's something over here you just move your mouse around so you like find those little hot spots what? Just more. Just more buildings. Just more buildings that describes every city everywhere. That's me, <laughs> Gabriel Knight. 
Thanks for the pro tip there, bud. Um, I could continue working from the walkthrough to fi try to figure this part out. But you know what? I have a feeling that I think I have kind of exhausted my interest level in this game. And I, I feel like if I keep going, this video is just going to be a little, little boring. So let me just kind of wrap up here. Hey, what's this? No, there's like a little that thing on the ground the there, dude. Just you know, walk over there. T t take the two shot, seconds man. out of your busy day of doing nothing and walk over and pick up whatever this is. Uh, I'd give it a shot. Like how these people are just the like bopping along. They're like, oh yes, yes, this is this is good, yes. Um, Gabriel Knight. Okay, this is a classic adventure game. I don't deny that it it has a semi interesting story. I actually am kind of curious, and I wouldn't mind actually watching someone who knew what they were doing play their way through this. I think you can find on YouTube like uh, people who've spent like eight hours playing this game. Oh, let's go on the subway. That'll be fun, um, and you can watch the whole plot. Uh, it is it is semi interesting. I will say I think the full motion video aspect hasn't held up as well um, over the years. Let's go back back home. Um, it's something that's definitely dated. Is this, you know, a good game? Like, the pros are that it's actually not that complicated of a game. You know, you just kind of have to look for what to click on, and you can explore around, and there's some stuff to explore. I mean, the cons are really that it is so directionless, it can be very difficult and intimidating. The full motion video actually slows the game down, like the transitions. Like, if I want to go in here, in King's Quest, I would just walk into the room. But now they gotta like show like a whole video sequence of me like entering the room and so on. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's hard to to say. Um, I think ultimately this is not a game you must play before you die. I think it's an interesting game to kind of look back on and and play around a little bit with and maybe again watch someone who knows what they're doing play it. But what I really really do wish is that someone would modernize this concept and get it away from its totally linear roots and set it up so that problems exist in this in this adventure that you're going to encounter but there's multiple ways to solve them and, it, and you can solve them based on realistically what might work so if you got to get a i don't know get a message to someone who's standing outside a window why not just throw write the message on a piece of paper and throw it down or like tie a bedsheet together and repel out the window you know like there's multiple ways to do it and then the game would be more about like having an adventure and the cool things you do along the way and that's my own perspective anyway I wonder if it'll let us go into this little path here. Come on, go. Go, 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 go. Risk it, dude. Go into the woods. It'll be exciting. No, he's... He doesn't listen to us. That's the other thing about adventure game characters. It's like, technically, you're them, but you're not really them because they don't 100% listen to you. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, should you play this game before you die? I would say skip it for the reasons I've already given. Um, that doesn't mean it was you know, a bad game at the time. It definitely sort of broke new ground and so on. Uh, but I think there's better games you could be playing these days. And that's my own two cents. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like and give me a subscribe because we'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game, and you don't want to miss that. Until then, I will be continuing to try to solve the murder or the mystery of the murderous German wolves in Germany. Um, in fact, no, I won't. I'll be turning this game off in just one second. Uh, take care of yourselves until I see you again. All right, guys. Peace. Come on. 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 Get back over here, will ya?